All right, let's talk about quick transfer. And the Mini has this new thing. This is new. I've actually never seen this on the DJI drone before, uh, but it has the ability to connect to a device, a mobile device, using Wi-Fi. And that way you can transfer your photos quickly without having to use the controller, which is the cool thing. Um, if you are in the country that allows 5.8 gigahertz connection, not all of them do. Uh, I think Japan is, uh, is a little bit picky about this. United States, you can actually do this. But if you have the ability to do 5.8 gigahertz, then you're gonna download at 20 megabyte, megabyte per second. Sorry, I wanted to get the right byte or bit. Megabyte per second. And then if not, at 2.4 gigahertz, you're gonna be doing six megabyte per second. So a little bit uh, slower in this case. Um, the quick transfer, there's two methods of doing it. You have your drone and your cell phone only. If that's the case, you power on the drone, you go into the back, you double tap, the, you tap the, the, the button right here and you hold it for two seconds. The light in the front here is gonna turn blue. And when it turns blue, then you can go to your phone, make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is enabled, and then go to the DJI Fly app. And that's all you have to do. Once you get on the DJI Fly app, we're going to get a, um, a prompt that's gonna tell us to connect to the UAS. And from here, you'll have access to all the photos and videos and you can transfer them quickly, which is cool. If you are using the controller, you can do this with the controller and the cell phone connected to the controller. Same principle, go into a quick transfer in the bag by double tapping the, the thing. By the way, if you double tap and it doesn't work and doesn't turn blue, it means you need to upgrade your uh, controller, your, your, I'm sorry, your firmware on the drone. So um, there's a video later on that shows you how to do that. The old firmware did not allow you to do this by double tapping. You have to actually hold for several seconds and then it would, it's gonna go into that mode. But if that's the case, please upgrade because the new software, the firmware is better. So put that thing into quick transfer mode, go in here, make sure your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi is enabled on the device, go to the app and then uh, you'll see there's a lightning bolt actually that's going to appear in the uh, upper right corner and that's how you're gonna be able to transfer the data. Um, you could do it with the controller control, you know, plugged in, but the transfer rate is not gonna be as fast.